Hello, I'm Rose Spears, and I'm with the Historical Novel Society of North America. And today we're here at the San Fernando Cathedral with Dr. Michael. Could you talk a little bit about your organization? Sure. I'm executive director of the Conservation Society of San Antonio, which works to save the historic architecture, nature, and culture of San Antonio. Okay, great. So tell me about this cathedral. How old is it? Well, the oldest part of San Fernando Cathedral is there you see up by the altar. That dates to the 1750s. The parish was founded by Canary Islanders who arrived in San Antonio in 1731. The nave that we see is in a Gothic style and dates from uh, the late 19th century, about 1873. So it's the oldest church in continuous use in South Texas. So this church is a very, very old part of San Antonio. What is the role of it and the cultural importance of it for San Antonio? Well, it is sort of, because it's been in continuous use, it is the cathedral church for, for the Archdiocese of San Antonio. So okay. it's very important in terms of the Catholic faith being the mother church of all of them, so to speak. But it's also an important civic landmark because it's in the center of Main Plaza, which we all also call um, um, Plaza de las Islas, the Islanders Plaza. Okay. It's where the Canary Islanders, who were the first civilian settlers, they weren't in the missions, came and created the city of San Antonio. So are there events that happen at the cathedral and outdoors yes. outside the cathedral? Yeah, so for example, every year you will have the Canary Islanders who are now uh, into their 12th and 13th generations. Okay. will celebrate and make a procession around the cathedral. Okay, and I've heard something about the history of the city. Is that something that... Yeah, is... also on the facade of the cathedral, um, starting several years ago, they will project a whole history of the city, which anyone can come up and see at night after dark. Okay. Uh, during the summer months. And that months. happens just during the I summer? I think it's Wednesday through Sunday, yeah. Okay, well that'll be a neat thing that yeah. we hopefully we can take advantage of and look at. Yeah. Um, the cathedral, I believe, was going through a restoration. Do you know anything about that? They did a major restoration in 2003 that really covered everything. So uh, exterior, interior, uh, even the retablos or altars up there, you can see they're in, in very fine shape right now. So it's, it's actually in a pretty good condition right now. Uh, but a building this old always needs work, so it always needs help. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. So we're in the older section of the church now. Could you tell us a little bit about the pieces in this room? Sure. Yeah. So we're in the oldest 1750s section of the Cathedral of San Fernando. And we have here three 18th century style retablos, or altars. This is the one to uh, the Mary of Candelaria, which was the patron saint of the Canary Islanders who came and settled and created this parish in 1731. All right, great, thank you. So what can you tell us about this piece that we have behind us now? Well, this is the main altar of Retablo, and of course it shows the crucified Christ and the four evangelists. And uh, it's done in that wonderful flamboyant uh, 18th century Spanish style, all gilded columns. It's really a good example and focal point for the church. Um, so is this piece more recent, or is it something that was originally there at the time of the building? No, this is, uh, all the retablos are more recent in construction, but they fit into the spirit of the mid-18th century when this portion of the cathedral was built. That's great that they've kind of kept that continuity. Absolutely. So this is another beautiful altar piece that we have behind us. Could you talk a little bit about this one? Sure. So this, uh, again, done in the Baroque Rococo style, of course, depicts the Virgen de Guadalupe which is one of the most important uh, manifestations of the Virgin Mary throughout Spanish Texas. Uh, the Virgen de Guadalupe is also pictured outside the cathedral in a, um, uh, statues. And of course, it was the first appearance of the Virgin to uh, native indigenous person of the New World. And so it's, it's seen in almost every Catholic church in, in the region. That's fascinating. Thank you.